Now in this lecture we will discuss about moment of inertia of a uniform hollow cylinder. So let us consider a hollow cylinder. So this is a hollow cylinder, M is the mass of cylinder. And radius of cylinder is R. And let us say length of cylinder is L. Now we have to calculate moment of inertia of this hollow cylinder about central axis. So this is the central axis. Let us call this axis is OO dash. So we have to calculate moment of inertia about OO dash. This cylinder is rotating about this axis. Then we have to calculate moment of inertia. Moment of inertia is given by formula R square dm integral. R is the distance. Of dm mass. From axis. And this distance is perpendicular. Now let us consider any a small patch or a small mass dm on the periphery of this cylinder. This is situated at a distance of capital R. So for this mass we can write I is equals to R square. So R is a small r is the distance of dm from axis and this is perpendicular distance. Perpendicular distance is radius of cylinder. Now R is constant we can take this outside integral dm. Integral dm is mass of cylinder. So if I integrate this dm, we will get total mass of this cylinder. So moment of inertia about OO dash is MR square. And this is simple to visualize. If I take any patch on this curved surface, all is situated at a distance of R. If I take this patch, this is also situated at a distance of R. If I take a patch here, this is also situated at a distance of R. So if I sum, so let us say this is dm1, this dm2, dm3, dm4. If I all add all this moment of inertia, so we can also write R square dm1, R square dm2, R square dm3 similarly keep goes on. So this is dm1, this is dm2, this is dm3. So if I add all this moment of inertia finally I will have R square dm1, dm2, dm3. And if I add all this term, this will be mass of cylinder. That is moment of inertia of a hollow cylinder is MR square.
important point we have this result is independent from length of cylinder so moment of inertia is independent from length of cylinder if you remember moment of inertia of a ring let us say we have a ring of mass m and radius r moment of inertia of ring about an axis perpendicular to the plane of ring is m r square so you see moment of inertia of a ring or hollow cylinder both has same value a both having same mass moment of inertia is mr square by 2 sorry mr square so this result says either we have a ring or we have a cylinder of same mass same radius moment of inertia will be same this means length does not matter length of cylinder does not affect moment of inertia